What's up everybody? It's your boy G Money back at it again with another video on my G35. So, like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right down below this video. Like always, if you enjoyed the content, please put that thumbs up. And like always, if you didn't like what you see, then go ahead and put that thumbs down. But hopefully y'all did like the video. And like always, make sure y'all click that notification bell if y'all haven't. And like always, if you do those three things, subscribe, click on the notification bell, and like the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And like always, you'll be part of the G35 fam. So, that being said, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so how's it going everybody? If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Giovanni, the G35 fam. And uh, to all my old subscribers, welcome back guys. So, pretty much on this video... I got my last fit uh, turn signals um, for the G35. I'm really excited because, uh, you know, I want to get them put on. But the other thing is, the the ones that I got, they're the amber. So, it's going to kind of give it that JDM look on the turn signal. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, instead of Spain, uh, spending like, uh, 200 100 and something dollars for a whole JDM headlight for the sedan you know you just get these bulbs and it'll give it the same effect so the reason why I got these uh, by the last fit is because the the bulbs that they have I already opened it just to make sure I got the right stuff but the reason why I got these is uh, they pr pretty much they prevent the uh, the uh, the blinking um, uh, the blinking turn signal so if you ever put in an LED before um, I know on my other G35 uh, I installed some um, LED bulbs and I had to put in a, a resistor that way it could slow down the you know the blinking so these right here they're already built in they have a fuse and everything and you know uh, they're pretty much everything's ready plug and play and that's pretty much how it is so uh, I'm going to install these and we're going to check it out. But uh, if you're wondering th what kind of bulbs these are, these are seven, uh, 7441 and 7440 um, LEDs. So if you don't know what type of uh, bulb you use for your turn signal, um, just let me know. and Let me know the year and I can, I can let you know if you don't know what year um, you, or what type of bulb you need. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much for these. So the reason why I like these is because they have, um, on each side, they have uh, six LED pads. So you have a total of four, a four-sided bulb, right? And there's a total of six on each side. So that's a total of 24 um, LED little pads. And they pulled out like uh, 24 lumens. So that's pretty bright, guys. So I'm really excited to put these on, but... My main thing is I don't want to have to install a resistor and all that. So hopefully these, um, you know, these do the job and I don't have to install anything. And, you know, it pretty much, uh, it's just a plug and play. So that being said, let's open the trunk and uh, let's get these bulbs installed. Alright guys, so when you first, to take off, all, to take off everything and put these put these on you're gonna have to take off this piece right here so once you take that off you're gonna have a, a clip right here you have to remove this and you have to remove this the same for the other side you're gonna have to remove this this one I don't have one and this one is missing but uh, that way you can remove all this and you can uh, you know expose the panel so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this whole piece and then uh, yeah I'll show you what what to do after that all right so once you remove that whole piece as you can see I removed everything exposing the panel boom like that what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get a uh, let's see what size is this I think it's a a three, uh, I'm sorry, a five sixteen uh, socket, and you're gonna want to take off this one right here. So you're gonna take off this this screw right here. You're gonna pull that down. I'm sorry. 
we're gonna we're gonna take that one off. We're gonna take this one off right here. And oh man, I'm sorry. It's really hard to do all this with just one hand. Okay, so you're gonna remove this one. You're gonna remove this one. You're gonna remove this one. And I believe that's it, guys. It's just this one. Okay, so I'm sorry. This one, this one, this one, and this one. These four. And that's gonna remove the whole uh, tail light. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna expose the uh, the whole headlight. I mean, the whole tail light. All right, so pretty much I got everything loose. And this should just pop off. Just like that. So, there we go. So, the one I need to remove is this one right here. I need to remove this right here, and that'll expose this right here. So, I'm going to twist it just like that. And it's gonna expose the bulb right there. I'm gonna take it out. Hold on, let me take it off. All right, guys. So as you can see, there's a different in size. This is the the last fit LED bulb, and this is the OEM. Uh, incandescent bulb there's a there's a big difference in size so uh, I'm gonna install this one and we're gonna see what it looks like I'm gonna have the uh, the driver side one on and the uh, the uh, passenger side one on and we're gonna see the difference all right so as you can see the one on the passenger side is dim Compared to the one on the driver's side, that one is bright, dude. Y'all can tell the difference. The thing that sucks is it's not really a orange look. I mean, yeah, it is. I don't know if y'all can tell on the on the video. This is kind of orange compared to this one. Looks a little red, but even on the ground, you can tell the difference. So. Let me install the other one and we'll see how it looks. So guys, something I just figured out without having to use your 516 uh, nut driver for the sedan. Uh, you don't have to remove all your little nuts, the four nuts. Uh, pretty much all you got to do is just pop it out from right there, twist it, and it exposes it like that. So, yeah, I know for the... Uh, for my coupe, I had to take off all the, all the, um, all the nuts in order to release and get access to the, you know, the harness for the bulb. But fortunately for this one, I didn't have to do all that. So pretty much all I got to do now is just, whoops, plug it in. And then uh, turn it on. So as you can tell, it is it is orange, but on the video it kind of looks uh, like a, a bright red. But I'm gonna install this if I didn't cause y'all cause y'all a seizure, and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see how the final product looks. All right, guys, there you go. That's pretty much the final product. As you can tell, look how it's illuminating the street. I want to say they kind of look orange, but they kind of look just red. I don't know. It might be my eyes. But you can use these same bulbs for the, uh, the front turn signals. So, uh... Yeah, let me turn on the lights and see what the final product looks like. Right now, I just have the hazards on. So, there you go.
Look at my bumper, it looks all like a piece of crap. Man, fix that right there. There we go, guys. There you go. So that's the last fit turn signals and the last fit um, license plate. So, looks pretty good, man. Um, yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, as you can tell, I did not need any type of resistor and everything. So pretty much the uh, the bulbs are just a plug, plug and play. And um, yeah, as you can see, they're pretty bright, guys. Uh, I got this new flashlight, so I kind of have some light here at night. But uh, yeah, pretty much for the sedan, um, you don't really need to move all those um, those nuts uh, with the with the socket. Uh, I was just able to on the on the one on the uh, the passenger side. I noticed that it had like a little cutout where I could just remove the bulb. But I know for the coupe, you have to remove the whole headlight. So um, on that, you'll just use the same socket that I used. I think it was a uh, five sixteenth, and uh, you just remove those those uh, those those nuts, and um, your headlight will your tail light will be able to remove. But other than that, guys, let me know what y'all thought. I know this was a long video, but uh, shout out to Last Fit for, um, you know, with the uh, not sponsoring me, but you know, providing those bulbs that I can try out. Uh, hopefully, you know, they sponsor me and I can, you know, change out all the other bulbs for the uh, the interior and all that. But uh, yeah, these bulbs right here, they were uh, forty nine bucks, but. Um, I think honestly from what I just saw they're worth it and uh, you know you don't got to buy that resistor and do any hard wiring and all that so um, that's a plus right there that saves time and then um, yeah you can see how bright it is so uh, yeah that probably concludes this end of this video guys I know it's been a long video but um, uh, other than that man if you haven't subscribed to the channel like always subscribe click that thumbs up and make sure you click that bell and, you know, y'all have a great day. Peace.